Everybody brace yourselves because the Lego room right now is an absolute disaster. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Lego room vlog. Today we are going to be cleaning up our disaster. <laughs> we've got boxes, we've got cables, we've got everything just not where it belongs at all. Like look at this guy. What's he doing over here? Oh man, yeah, we've got uh, this table here. There's cables running all over the place, tripods, Vespas, tape measures, uh, mini scooters over here, more cables, <laughs> garbage, plates, tripods, just stuff absolutely everywhere where it's not supposed to be. Like, why is this mouse pad here? What's up with this road mic that's just sitting here? It makes no sense. There's stuff absolutely everywhere. Oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful set though. We've got the Cat D11 on the table here. Also the Joker art. I gotta give it to it, man. That Joker art is absolutely fantastic. That's the Jim Lee art. So we want to get uh, Joker, Harley, and also the ultimate Batman someday. But oh man, that's like one of my new favorite art pieces. Like look at how creepy he looks. The wife won't let me hang that one in the bedroom, <laughs> as you can imagine. Uh, we also have uh, the Stormtrooper right here, which is actually a custom one built on Rebrickable.com. You can buy the instructions there and build that one there. So that's a really cool custom Lego Star Wars art. Here's the landing page for that right now. So pretty amazing. You can also see that we're currently building something down here. So we're currently building the, an alternate model for the Porsche 911 Turbo Targa. So we've got all the parts sorted for that right now and we're working on creating that, which is pretty cool. For some reason, my computer monitor's on the ground <laughs> along with my keyboard. Ah, so what are we gonna do today in this vlog? Well, we're gonna clean everything up. We're gonna get this place looking neat and tidy and just sort of discuss some stuff in the city, place some sets on the shelves, uh, and just sort of, you know, make this place presentable because this is just not good at all. So the first thing I think that we're gonna do is uh, deal with the uh, Cat D11. Not its box, but the actual Lego set way over there, and we're actually going to, oh, it's not focusing, but we're actually gonna change up this shelf right here that has things like uh, Starry Night, the Coliseum, the Grand Piano, the Globe, the helicarrier, these aircrafts down here, a random plate on the floor. So let's uh, make some space for the massive Cat D11 over here and retailer this, or these two cabinets actually. Uh, this is uh, two PAX cabinets. So they're the wardrobe units that are nice and deep and can accommodate massive sets such as the Cat D11. The first shelf that I've decided to recreate here is actually our space shelf. Doesn't that look cool? I've actually risen up the ISS and added it to the shelf. I've risen this up as well and also put the lunar lander there as well. So now all of our NASA space stuff is sorted together, except for this guy over here. However, I did slide Benny's spaceship over to the left there, so it's beside the other spacecrafts. And we have all of this space open right here and also all of this space open here beside the Statue of Liberty and the Empire State Building. So I think we're going to position the Cat D11 right there on that shelf. I hope it's not too heavy. If I do start to see the shelf warp, then of course we can move it to the bottom. But I think that's going to be a pretty cool spot for it. Okay, we're going to see if Mrs. Brixie can drive the Cat D11 over there to the shelf. Come on. There we go. Oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> Scoop up all the plates. better at moving bricks, but it should go right over them. <laughs> I guess the gap between the, uh, the fork or the uh, blade is just a little bit too high. Maybe we could have angled the blade more forward. It would have been fine though. But as you can see, it drove over the plates, no problem. They can drive over bricks, all that stuff. But this is its max operating speed. So you can see how fast it's moving over to its new position here. Here we go. What else could we put in front of it? I don't have anything. Let me see here one sec. We're going to find out if the Cat D11 is worthy here, folks. Oh no, it's, it's, it's definitely worthy. Okay, what about a sideways car? I mean, that rubber's got some traction, right? 
Oh, it can't do it. It's got too much traction. What about a party boat? See if it can have a party. Oh yeah, no problem. Throw another, oh, throw another boat over here, Jose. Another friend's boat. It's the dolphin boat. And Thor's hammer. You think it can do it? Oh yeah, no problem. There we go. It's almost the end of the line. What about Darth Vader's castle? Oh, it's got some strength. How about a typewriter? Oh, that's where it maxes out. It can't move the... Is it moving? Slightly. Oh, it needs some traction on the tread. Maybe if it had those uh, little rubber things in the tread, it could do it. But yeah, you take away the typewriter, it's no problem. <laughs> that's pretty cool, eh? It can move quite a bit of weight. All right, let's place it. It sort of like opposes the other LEGO Technic sets when it's on this shelf here, so I don't mind it. I should lower the shelf, but then that's going to impede the view of the Marvel stuff. Because, like, you know, standing at my height, which is sort of like where the camera is, I can see the Marvel stuff. Whereas if you lower the shelf, then it's going to sort of block some of that stuff off. But you can definitely see it there. It's definitely not going to be too heavy. I've got the Coliseum on the shelf. Clearly, these things can support a lot of weight, so it's pretty cool. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is just quickly place the Vespa. Well, I guess I should clean up my mess there, too. So I've changed up the shelf, and I need your help. But first I'll show you the changes. So I actually have the Speed Champions on these three shelves right here on, on both billies. And we actually lowered them one shelf, I think it is. And you can see I actually placed them all the same way. So they're all facing the same direction. I don't know, does that look better? Or does it look better to have them opposite? What do you think? Should I change them so they all face the same way? Or does it look sort of cool how they're like different from one another? But there you go, you can see I placed the Vespa right there beside the Harley Davidson. Then we brought the Extreme 4x4 off-roader up top there. And that is looking pretty awesome if you ask me. Uh, because I moved these Speed Champions down, I was able to free up a shelf right here for some of our larger Technic vehicles, such as the Land Rover Defender, the Jeep Wrangler, and then the bottom we have the Senna and also the Ducati. Ooh, I think that looks pretty cool though, but should the vehicles face the same way? Or should they be opposite like this here just to change it up, make it look different? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know by commenting below. Oh yeah, and also, I got rid of the table, right? The table's out of the way. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna work on is I'm gonna clean up all of this stuff right here. So I recycle most of my boxes. The CAD D11 box will get recycled. I bought it as a damage box special. Art boxes, I get rid of them all. Road boxes, I get rid of them all. The Porsche 911 box, it's going to go. The Vespa box, goodbye. Bags, stuff like that, all going to get recycled. But I will be keeping, of course, my instruction manual. As you can see, Optimus Prime instruction manual right there. And, of course, the Ferrari box. I got to keep that. That thing is amazing. Just want to quickly mention that I actually turned it sideways and pulled it to the edge of the shelf so you can actually see the thing, right? That looks better. And look, we cleaned up our mess. So right here is the extent of our box collection. We recycle everything else. We've got the cars, the Boeing Dreamliner, some vintage Star Wars stuff, and then the two big boys. That's the Millennium Falcon and the Star Destroyer. And then there's also the Imperial Shuttle and a couple others. But honestly, I'm thinking of reducing it even further to free up more room in the garage here. So now we're doing the fun thing of feeding the ethernet cable. Ooh, almost just sent some Lego flying. I should take this stuff down, but we're good. I should also probably move this stuff around the base of the ladder, hey? What do you think? <laughs> but you know what? Nobody got time for that. It's actually going quicker than I imagined, though. I did this in about one minute. So I'm just going to continue feeding it around. No word of a lie. That took like what, Jose? Five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes. So easy. And it's already fed. Now I just have to feed it along the baseboard all the way around and then we're there. And then I got a one gigabyte fiber internet connection where we stream. I know we could have done the plug on the wall ones, but this is like literally connected to my fiber, like where the fiber internet comes into the house. So it's going to be like the best internet you can get in this house. So that's why I wanted to do it with the ethernet cable. 
But now I just gotta feed it around underneath the tables and it's done. And there it is. Call me the cable guy. You know what? I gotta tack it along the baseboard. I don't know what I'm gonna do that with, like little pieces of scotch tape or something like that. You can buy things. Yeah, you must be able to buy things, eh? Little little cable tie things or something that they just so it runs along the top of the baseboard, but you know what? It's 8 30 at night. I'm tired. <laughs> we had a really busy day today. Uh, we sat in a course for seven hours, our pre-matal course. And then I came home and I was like, oh, I get all this stuff done. But I don't want to do that because we got to clean up a whole bunch of stuff under the table. So I'll just save that for when we do that. This, the under table areas are just a disaster. So when I clean up all that stuff, we'll fix the cables too. Uh, I want to show you these really quick. We made all of our electric scooter packs. Look at that. We got three of them. Nine minifigs six scooters, and three uh, docking stations. Pretty cool. So eventually these docking stations and scooters and stuff will be around the city and up top here as well. I uh, still got to figure out how we're going to build our staircase or whatever uh, that can bring minifigures to the top up there. And then we still got to figure out how to conjoin our staircase, pretty much create our staircase, I guess, uh, over here on the Ninjago side of things too, because we built our staircase right over here for the mountain but we've still got to build another one right here. That'll come up that side. We've got to figure out how we're going to do that. I'm not sure if it's going to like tra traverse up here or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out though. Slowly but surely getting it done. But yeah, this is what I mean about our under table mess. It's uh, chaos. We've got to deal with that still. This is completely destroyed. We're going to do the medieval scenes relatively soon. Uh, and all of these boxes eventually will be gone. So yeah, we got lots of work to do under there. These are my thoughts. I was thinking a staircase similar to the one on that side, but coming up this way, up to here, and then up here, and then they kind of can join in the corner. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get that done one day. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is clear our desk here by hanging those two pieces of art. Unfortunately, the Brixie art had to leave because we moved Iron Man just right there beside the Hulkbusters. So they're all together now. And then we put the Stormtrooper right there with all the other Star Wars ones. Pretty cool. We wanted to keep that staircase effect. You see how it sort of goes with the stairs? So now we're going to hang the Brixie art and the Joker art. I won't lie, we can't really decide what we're going to do with these two now. We know the Brixie art has got to go on this wall here. Maybe below the Oilers art, below the Spaceman, or below Lightning McQueen. This one here is sort of out of alignment and sort of threw the other ones out of alignment here. You can see the gap's not big enough. So we know eventually this all has to change. And we know eventually we want to do all of the Batman or Jim Lee arts right here along with the ultimate Elvis art. So we decided to just place these two here for now. It's sort of like a random wall, but look, I'm right below the Oilers. That makes sense, right? Eventually we'll get the Batmans, we'll get the King made, we'll dress that wall up. It's just going to be a little bit weird to start placing single art sets on this wall without having the two big ones, right? Because the ultimate Batman and the ultimate Elvis are the size of this one here. So if we don't have those two, it's going to be hard to sort of get it all right and everything like that. So the Lego room's getting a little bit cleaner here. This cabinet is usually the one that's in front of the electrical panel. But I got that exposed right now. So this is in front of another cabinet. Eventually we're going to deal with that because we still have a bunch of stuff on the floor right over here. So we got to get that dealt with once we get uh, a service done on our electrical cabinet. And then maybe we'll get one of those shorter billy cabinets that's about this tall to go in front of our electrical cabinet so you can actually access it. Still in the works of doing that. I think it looks great here. Got the, the cars all fixed up there. Uh, this Caterpillar over here looks fantastic as well. We had some fun pushing some sets around with that beauty. That was a lot of fun. We got a big open spot here. What do you think is going to go here? Architecture, architecture, architecture. Maybe the Pyramid of Giza. It's an idea. I don't think I'm going to be able to sell myself on that one until we actually see it built at the Lego store on August 1st. But we got the space for it because this space shelf looks awesome. I like how we elevated the ISS. Things are a little crooked there. Just have to straighten them out a bit. And also elevated the Space Shuttle Adventure, or just a little mini one there, the three-in-one set. 
But yeah, we got lots of stuff done. We cleaned up all the cables, cleaned up all the cords, got the room actually looking half decent. Going to continue working on the Ninjago City stuff here next. And also going to continue working on our mess. Well, not even continue, but just start working on our mess underneath the table. Because there's just lots, lots of stuff to do. There's always something to do in the Lego room, right? That's really about it for today. I am absolutely gassed. It's 9.30 at night now. And we had a long sort of educational session today for our children and the birth of our children. And uh, it was like seven hours long and I had to sit there and listen for seven hours. So did Jose. So when we came home, we did all this and now I'm absolutely gassed. That's really about it. We cleaned up and uh, everything's looking snazzy down here. Make sure you stay tuned for some more great stuff. Thank you so much for popping on by and remember to like, subscribe and stay tuted for all.